Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to, to talk about how to use multiple MDM client applications on the same Windows client machine. These steps here apply for any version of master data management. The agenda for the video is first let's talk about PAN. PAN is the acronym for Product Availability Matrix. It is a document that is released by our, by our engineering team where they certify Informatica products with the third party products. Today, more specifically, I'm going to talk about the MDM version and which Java version the product is cert certified with. In this example here, I took a piece of the PAM MDM 10.2 PAM uh, related to the WebLogic application server, which version of WebLogic MDM 10.2 is certified, and also what, which version of the Oracle Java it is, it is certified. In this case here, uh, the Java is 1.8 underline 20. Okay, but there might be a situation that you have that you need to work with multiple versions of the MDM product. For instance, you might have a MDM 10.0 hotfix 2 in your production environment and you start to work with the MDM 10.2 version for um, to planning an upgrade so in, in this case uh, they use different Java versions how do you handle that let me show you through this example okay let me quick quickly show you this is the pen for the uh, MDM 10.2 version I can see here the operate system that is certified but for instance let's say here uh, if I use the weblogic server 12c release 1 I need to to work with the Oracle JVM 1.8 underline 20 this is for the client and for the server as you can see here there is a note uh, weblogic server 12c uh, in red we can see the number 19 if we scroll down here we can see what 19 means uh, any client using MDM hub console should have the same Java version as the application server so we strongly recommend you to to have the same version So now I just opened the pan for the MDM 10.0 hotfix 2 and I'm going to take a look at the Arco Java version. I scroll down here and for instance here for JBoss it says Arco JVM 64 bit version 1.7.0 underline 45. So I, as you can see, they use different Java versions. So I need to install both on my Windows client machine. Okay, here in my Windows client machine, I have different versions of Java. For instance, this uh, is the 17045 which is for the MDM 10.0 hotfix 2. Now let me show you how you can work with multiple versions. Okay, here I just launched the initial login page for MDM version 10.0 hotfix 2. I'm going to show you this example just using this version but the steps here apply for any version 
So after launch here, I click with the right click and save target as. So it's going to download the Cyperion console JN LP file. I just save it here and I can change the name, let's say uh, 10 0 hotfix 2. This is the name of the file now and I save it. Okay. So I just saved the file here under the uh, Java bin directory and let me show you the file. Here is the file, Cyperion console 10 0 hotfix 2. What I do here? Here I just invoke the command line cmd. From here I run the java ws and the name of the file. So in this way I'm launching the MDM hub console using the this specific java version 17045 which is the one certified with the MDM 10.0 hotfix 2. Okay, just launching. This is a warning message. I accept. Okay, now I provide the username and password. As you can see, it has just worked fine. Okay, so I'm just connected to the hub console. So today in summary, you have learned how to work with the different versions of the MDM client applications in the same Windows client machine. We'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter. Info support. Thank you.